Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Miss M, Stephanie Michelle, Gabriella, everybody. My number one fan, my mom. All right. My friends and support, my sister, right. Michelle. Yes. Right. I have a poem for you today. And as I had said before, I'm a um, published writer. I have a book that I've written in 2015. It's titled Inspirations, Poems by Iris G. Carter. And it's available on Amazon.com and Barnes and Noble. Yes. So it's for inspirational purposes, written in simplicity, so all ages can understand and be inspired by the words that I feel the Lord gave me for inspiration. Yes, yes. And this poem is also to inspire our young people young ladies. What I find is our young men, we have wonderful young, young men here today, and um, we just need to continue to teach them and instill in them a sincere love for us ladies. Yes. And it helps them to be more stronger men because if you don't love where you come from, how do you truly love yourself? That's right. Okay. So this is entitled Teach Our Boys. And boys is meant in a term of endearment, like my sons when they're little boys, not saying boys when they're men. But teach our boys, teach our boys not only to do chores, teach them respect for you as a woman. Tell them it's okay to open doors. Chores teach and instill responsibility. Opening doors gives them a certain level of humility. Teach our boys the two combined, responsibility and humility will develop in him stability, making them able to respect themselves as well as our girls. In the beginning of time, man Adam had control and dominion over everything in the world. He was still so lonely. Imagine he may have been frustrated and confused. God knew that he had the greatest need for a loving helpmate, the perfect companion, per God. God put Adam, the man, to sleep, and he created for, from him, from his rib, he taken from his side, he created for man a woman. Teach our sons, a perfect gift deserves respect. When he sees another woman, his mind should reflect on the good things mom, the first woman in his wife, who loved him has done. Make sure he knows that one day you will not be the only one he, had, he can depend on. Teach our boys how one day, when he is a man, he will meet a woman who gives him a chill down his spine. Mm -hmm. A lady that will fill his heart with a song. If he loves and respects her, he can't go wrong and she will keep him strong. Mm -hmm. Teach our boys for his sake and for hers. I promise this won't be a mistake. Oh, yes. Thank you. Right. 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 Now I'm gonna take off my glasses and, and I'm just, I wanna give praise and honor to God because where we go, the earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof. Yes. And I love to sing to glorify him. I pray for the anointing. The anointing destroys the yoke. Yes, it does. And Jesus said, his yoke is easy. Come unto me, for my yoke is easy. Oh, yes. So anywhere we are, we're glorifying him because he gives each one of us these gifts and talents that we're sharing. Yes, that's right. And the gentleman with the song, the voice, oh. just a God-given instrument. Beautiful. Oh, yes, and my so late beautiful. father used to come home whistling. Oh, he could yes. whistle. So when you did that last month, it brought joy to me to remember him doing that. And he passed in 94 a few months ago, I shared. Oh, yeah. So this is to the glory of God, and I hope that you are touched by it truly. Yes, yes. Great is thy faithfulness.